Strider doing some spray demos with the drones and the Hagees and the helicopters and stuff. Bo Morse, Epic Ag Solutions, want to introduce you to Clayton Stufflebeam and Jim Love. Uh, these guys kind of head up the Bex PFR research, essentially, right? And kind of everything we need yep. to know, you guys are going to teach so, us, right? I'll turn it over to them, kind of explain what we're doing out here today and hopefully give a better understanding of what we're trying to accomplish. Yep. So anyway, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I'll step out of the way. So last year we started a, a group of trials. Uh, six of those trials, we targeted a airplane or a helicopter versus a ground machine versus an untreated control. And then we also had uh, one of those trials that had the, had the drone application as well. This year we've kind of doubled our efforts. I've got 10 of those trials and a variation of helicopter, plane, ground machine, drone, and a couple of those. Um, so we're trying to take the gamut. And then of course, every single one of those trials has the untreated control, which is important to know. Uh, this year, at least in the majority of trials I've set up and been in so far, have either no disease pressure or very light, uh, very similar to last year. So last year, what we've seen was we seen a, a ROI break even essentially with the airplane. Um, we had enough bushels there, but with the cost of application, the cost of product, it was just essentially too much to have a positive return on investment. Um, the drone was actually right with the airplane or just above that. Um, and the ground machine was just a little bit below. So this year, I think we're probably gonna see similar results, but I'm so spread out in far, as far as trials go. Maybe we'll catch a disease trial somewhere. Jim, you're flying the drone, you're the, you're the pilot, so what do you think? So, so we're using the drone. It, it appears as though to, to most of the people in agriculture right now that, that probably the drone spraying technology is gonna be the future of aerial application just because of the level of control and the timeliness and the way you can do it. So we're flying today the Helio 216 on these plots. Um, we're not actually flying the biggest drone that we have because we're doing plot work. But what we're trying to do is make sure that, that we're uh, uh, competitive and that we're not selling ourselves short by using the drone because at this point we are using a gallon per acre versus the helicopter that just left here that was putting on two gallon per acre. But thus far on things that we've tried through the drone at a gallon, be it um, coverage or concentration or whatever the magic is, we've managed to get most everything that we've put through that drone at a gallon to work. And, and uh, we've sprayed some pretty high concentrations. One of the mixes that I sprayed was uh, 2.4 quarts of material and 1.6 quarts of water. So that's a, that's a pretty rich mix. But we're always interested in seeing, we, we, we need to figure out where it fails. And so um, that's why sometimes we do things that don't make a lot of sense when you're doing research. And uh, so part of what I do with Bex is, uh, is test these drones, make sure that when our growers buy drones, they buy drones that make sense for them and that are tested and proven. And so that's really what we're doing here again today. Anyway, guys, I appreciate the time. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Oh, I know it's gonna be pretty useful as we move forward. So I do take a lot of, uh, not questions, but just everybody's got different opinions on what's happening out here. And hopefully we're putting a little research yep. and, and ground truth in this thing. So make well, decisions. One for more thing I'd like to add is uh, they are replicated blocks. So we're not just have 40 acres, this side of the field is done, and then 40 acres over there. So we're splitting it throughout the yeah. field. That's the best way to do it. I mean, it's real world data, yep. right? Yep. So right anyway, on. I appreciate it. Thanks everybody.